Now, this Capital One is going to get you up to 650. When you get there, your next credit card that you're going to get is one of two, either PinFed or Navy Federal. You're going to get one of these two. Now, I want you to understand why. These are going to give you large credit limits, but in addition to that, they're going to give you the ability to go wide in your credit profile as you go from 650 to 700, meaning you'll be able to get credit card with them. And Navy Federal, you can get $80,000 worth of credit. Uh, in some places, you can get $105,000, but you can get various types of things with them, various types of asset classes. So it's a great place to just go wide and show the algorithm that you know how to manage credit. Now, remember, we're not using credit like we need it, like we depend on it. We're using it like it is an opportunity to help us go where we're trying to go. So the C Capital One and the Credit One, I'm sorry, the Capital One and the Navy Federal or the PinFed, they are going to help you get to your 700 because you're going to manage them effectively. Now, here's the trap. The Capital One is going to be a lower limit, but this Navy Federal or PinFed could be a nice size limit. And if you get a $20,000 or $25,000 limit and think that that is opportunity to just go out and splurge, you are forgetting the goal of 750. And so to reach this goal, what you're going to do with that large Navy Federal limit is if it's $20,000, you're going to stay 6%. That's $1,200 or below on your statement date. If it's $25,000, that's $1,600 or below on your statement date because this is not your goal. Now, we're going to then get ourselves above 700. So 705, 710 is where we're going to pick up our next credit card.